Hi guys, yes, it's still your girl. You're welcome back to this channel. So guys, I would like to teach you about singer Lantan Ibile and his colleague Naira Mali. So all you have to do is stay tuned and watch till end. Omoni Itemida Rafael, born 19 December 1994, known professionally as Zlantan Ibile, is a Nigerian rapper, singer, songwriter, musician, and dancer. From Ijuri Ekiti, Ijera local government area, Ekiti State. He is the CEO and founder of Zanko Records. In 2014, he won the auto-sponsored One Make Talent Show, held in 2014 at Belkota, Ogun State. Towards the end of 2018, Zlantan released a single titled Zanko with a new dance routine of the same name. On the 3rd of November 2019, he released his debut studio album, Zanko, an acronym for Zlantan, a big no killers. The artist claimed in 2020 that it was his dream to become a footballer, not a musician. On January 1st, 2020, Zlantan took to his Instagram page to announce the launch of his record label. Zanko Records without no artist unveiled. Down to February 25, he celebrated his birthday while he announced the numbers and names of acts he signed. He listed three artists named Papi Snob, Obaz, and Jamo Piper. He also announced the official signing of a videographer cinematographer named Visionary Pictures, his manager, Manager Jiggy, his music producer, Rexy, and a PR consultant, Bees Loaded. He made this announcement with a picture of him and seven other people via his Instagram page. In May 2019, the EFCC arrested Zlantan and a few others in connection with an alleged case of internet fraud and money laundering. A few days later, he was released on administrative bill. In October 2020, during the NSAS protest, Zlantan released Sorosuke to express his concern over the massacre of innocent youths at the Lekki Toll Gates. So guys, singer Lantan Ibile is alleged to have stormed the house of his colleague Naira Mali following an undisclosed disagreement and subsequently destroyed valuable items while descending firstly on him. However, the piece of good news buried in this gist is that the duo settled their differences not too long after the physical altercation. It was disclosed that this occurred around the end of last year 2021. The post read, She ano tell you una say, last year at some point, getting to the hand part, Zlantan and Neramali had issues. A beg, it escalated to free school and them shall beat Naira. It be like Naira they very strong for mouths, but he know they too strong for punches and slaps. Zlantan apparently even stormed Naira's house, where he apparently always had access and damaged some speakers among us other things. From what we heard, Naira was at fault. But the most beautiful part is they were able to resolve it in less than two weeks, just before Lantan's birthday, and in no time they were back as brothers again. 
Well, guys, there you have it. Saint Gaul's Lantern Ibile is alleged to have stormed the house of his colleague Naira Mali following an undisclosed disagreement and subsequently destroyed valuable items while descending firstly on him. Thank you all for listening to that and please don't forget to like, subscribe and drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.